This tutorial is one of many instructional videos presented by the Olympus America Scientific Equipment Group Industrial Microscopes. This tutorial is part two of two and will provide you with detailed instructions on getting started with image acquisition on the Olympus Lex OLS 4000 3D laser measuring microscope. First, ensure that you are in imaging mode and select the color camera. At the lowest magnification, use the joystick to pan around your sample and find a feature of interest. Next, increase the magnification. Now that you are at a higher magnification, focus in on the top of the sample and adjust the brightness. Now, let's switch from color mode to laser confocal mode by pressing the laser button. When focusing, you will notice how laser confocal mode differs greatly than color mode in the sense that only the in-focus sections of the image are visible. Now, set your brightness in laser mode, being careful not to oversaturate as indicated in red. Typically, it is a good idea to set the brightness as high as possible without oversaturating. Some applications, for example, imaging inside cavities or vias, may require independent brightness levels at various depths. The Lext incorporates a brightness switch where the user can program independent brightness levels at up to five different Z positions. To enable the brightness switch, click the button Advanced Settings then Advanced Settings again. Under the Data Acquisition menu, check the box Enable Brightness Switch. An indication that the brightness switch is active can be found in the Acquisition Settings window. Now we will need to define the mode in which the confocal image stack is acquired. There are four modes to choose from. Fast prioritizes the speed of acquisition. Fine prioritizes the quality of the image. Step allows the user to manually define the spacing between images in a confocal stack, while Snapshot simply acquires a 2D single image snapshot. There are a few different options in the Acquisition Settings window. Check Color if you wish to acquire a color image to be overlaid on top of the laser confocal image. Check the DIC box if using differential interference contrast. Leaving the manual box unchecked will have the LEXT automatically determine the top and bottom limits of the confocal image acquisition. However, you can also define the top and the bottom of the confocal acquisition manually by checking the manual button. Ensure that the top bottom button has been selected. Focus at the top of the feature, then press the top button to define the top of the confocal image. Do the same with the bottom. Also, by selecting the range mode, you can manually define the acquisition range or distance traveled in Z. Enter the desired distance, then focus at the bottom of the feature and press acquisition. The acquisition will start at the bottom, traveling upward in Z as per the predefined distance. The LEXT will automatically determine the pitch or distance between image slices as well as the amount of images to be acquired as a function of the objective lens. Selecting the fast or fine acquisition mode greatly influences these parameters. Now that we have selected the appropriate acquisition mode and have set our brightness, let's acquire a confocal image by simply pressing the acquisition button. After the image has been acquired, it can be visualized in many ways simply by clicking on the corresponding button on the right. Currently, the image is being viewed in 2D. The image can be visualized in laser intensity mode, color mode, height intensity mode, and contour mode. By clicking on the 3D display button, the image can now be visualized three-dimensionally in laser intensity mode, color mode, 
height intensity mode as well as wireframe mode. To pan the 3D image, hold the left mouse button and move the mouse. Use the mouse scroll wheel to zoom in and out on the 3D image. In this instructional video, we have covered part 2 of 2 on getting started with image acquisition with the Olympus Lext OLS 4000 laser measuring microscope. We hope this video has been beneficial and we invite you to contact us directly with any questions whatsoever.